Welcome back to Harbour of the Bobo. Today we're going to make a new ground stroke shunt signal for this side here. This will involve a slight change to the design of this one. So we'll take you over to Thinkercad now and show you how we change the signal. So in Tinkercad I want to mirror these images as the shunt signal is for the other side of the track and the points point the other way. So let's click that one there and duplicate it. I always like to make a copy before I change things and that way if I do make a mess here I can go back and try again. So Select that one there, up here you get this mirror effect and you get to choose where you want to mirror it. And I want to mirror it that way. Click that one. Select mirror, choose that side. So that's um, been mirrored. You can see against the other side there. So now I need to export these for printing. And we'll call it STL and that'll XTL. That'll uh, export it. So now I'll go to the Cura and we'll slice them for printing. So in Cura we'll open up the file. It's always best to check to make sure the two parts are lying on the bed. If not, we may have an issue. But that's fine. Over here I've got my settings to a very fine scale, a uh, scale, a good quality, 0 0.12. So I'll slice that. And before we export it, well we check, we'll check, make sure everything I want printed is going to get printed. That looks absolutely fine for me. So I'll save it to removal drive and eject the drive and put that into the printer and start printing. It's not a big print, it's only seven minutes this one. Okay so we'll stick the file in the printer. I'm gonna clean with isopro alcohol just make sure it's nice and clean better for fixing the two Home. This will be print free, trouble free. The last two or three prints I've had a bit of trouble with the printer. I've had to do two or three bits of maintenance to it. So, power on. Print from SD card. And away it goes. So, heat itself up. Once it's heat itself up, I'll start doing the print. I see I'll probably just fast forward this uh, rather than sitting watching you watch that eight minute or seven minute print. Wispy. So we'll give it tidy up, you clean off, and we'll take a cross and paint it. So for the paint now, with the paint I use for this one here is the Tanya Colour Flat Black. Make it shake. A 3D print to the base colour with Halford's grey primer. You maybe need two or three coats to stop the blue on printer. So, 
no points point putting the bottom part because it goes into the base which you can paint it with Tanya concrete so I'll get a couple of hours to dry it and get a second coat as well Food rate is not the fucking matter. So, check the train. Just make sure it's not to fill the signal. Put the signal wired up. Pop the hole through it. The noise you hear in the background is the, the 3D printer gun. I'm printing off a, printing off a new set of roof vents for the engine shed. I'll check make sure I've put it around for it to clear. So I'll glue that in, then pop it under the, the board and wire it into a DCC access the decoder. What I do is I pre-install some resistors into the PCB board or a mount so I can screw it in the bottom here. And this one's here designed for dude point uh, connectors as well. So I'll solder them in there and get it mounted in and then wire it towards the DCC board in here. Now we've got the dew point connector going in. It's wired up around and into the DCC decoder, this one here. So I'll pop up to the ECOS and program it in place. Well, that's everything done. I've now got it programmed into the ECOS command station and it's quite important we get the LEDs around the right way. Go in and ask me how I know that. So let's see it working. And we'll check that one as well. So, but the progress we've made. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again. Bye.